Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Let's check out my new quadrocopter. Okay, so as you can see, this marvelous creature has four engines and no wings, no control surfaces. So how does this work? Well, I've updated um, VTOL engines to have controls via rotation and throttle variations. I've also updated the wheels so they actually have motor power, which I'll show you shortly. I'll throw this over to the pilot here. So, let's flip these engines up because this thing won't go very well at all without uh, any wings in the forwards mode. So this is just a straight up and down quadrocopter with vertical engines. So the wheels have power, they can steer just like before and everything. And they have more traction so they can get up steeper hills. But the main attraction is of course the VTOL engine updates. So they have a couple of different modes. If they were in a single pair configuration, so you'd have control surfaces and just two of these engines and not the rare ones, or you know, these ones at the center, they would um, let's see, just go on the car parking brake here. They'd pitch by doing this. They'd yaw by tilting this one forwards and this one backwards. Creates quite a nice yawing effect. And now to roll, if you increase the throttle on the, the right side and decrease it on the left side, you'll get uh, that kind of effect. Now, since this thing has four engines on it, obviously there's a more advanced mode using the throttle on the front and the rear in the uh, introduction. So let's throw the custom mode on here to fully explain it. So we can choose to have roll steering on. So that will do the throttle variation we just saw. There's the yaw steering, which is this thing, as I said. Now the pitch steering, before it was via rotation like this. But since we have four of these engines as a quadrocopter, we can do it via throttle instead. So if I say that this is the front pair, so this should decrease in power when you're wanting to push forward. And if you check this one out, this is set up as the rear pair, so this will actually increasing power when you're pitching forward. The uh, result should be very controllable. So I'm pitching forward and back by increasing and decreasing the throttle in the front and back engines. I'm rolling by increasing and decreasing the left and right side. And I'm yawing by tilting the engines forwards or back on the left and right sides. So you have full control over all of the axes you want without any other control surfaces, no RCS, no SAS coming from the cockpit, no that. So just like any helicopter, it's not the easiest thing in the world to control. But it's actually probably a, quite a bit easier than a normal helicopter because just putting four of these engines on and keeping the thrust fairly centered, it's much easier than placing that one engine in the exact right spot like you have to do with that. Of course, as I mentioned, this has no wings, so if I were to go into flight mode with these, it would not end at all. Um, the 
settings for how much uh, yaw you get out of it, how much it tilts and everything. Um, it might have to vary a bit depending on the size of the craft. I haven't added in any options for that yet, but I'm not sure I will. Probably a large craft might require a bit more engine to it, but I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference. And of course, since this is throttle based, when you have more throttle, you have more uh, authority, more pitch authority, more control authority. The fun thing about V craft is that they're pretty safe uh, in terms of landing, especially if you had some wings on here and you could uh, go all around and be fairly certain that you could survive uh, a cross-country trip doing some stops every now and then. And I really like doing these kinds of things. As I mentioned, the wheels have had some updates, so if I just increase the steering a bit here, i do like 25 on each wheel. I haven't done the pair setup for this yet, but I have the engines. I'm turn this air on, of course. Now, this is very nice and controlled, because at higher speeds, doesn't rotate the wheels as much as at lower speeds, so if you're in a plane that might tip over, you won't, unless you want to, of course, because you can turn the whole dynamic steering off. But this makes it exceptionally easy to taxi into a hangar or something like that, like anyone trying the new rover wheels will know, of course. The new rover wheels are pretty good. Um, this is just for some added functionality to the actual retractable landing gear and everything. And also, since I've created my new module for the landing gear, they will finally, after like six months, once again roll while they are retracted. They're pretty buggy right now in this gear because, uh, because I haven't fixed some collider issues. But uh, the colliders are actually active, even in retracted states. And depending on the geometry they're attached to, that works very well. So, but of course, I'm going to do some updates to these wheels before I re-release them, because they also have some uh, other issues that have to do with the math <laughs> and geometry. Well, anyways, that's for now. Bye.